In today's video, I want to highlight to you guys some new games coming to the PlayStation 4, including an awesome PC exclusive, and that game will be arriving very soon. It's a game I'm quite familiar with, so I do want to talk quite a bit about that. Outside of that game, though, we've got some other interesting games that I want to highlight as well. But first up, I want to take a look at all of these new games coming to the PlayStation 4, highlighted by an awesome PC exclusive in Slay the Spire, hitting the PlayStation 4 on May 21st. This is a game I've wanted to come to the PlayStation 4 for a very long time. I played quite a bit of it on PC. It was an early access game for a while. It came out of early access earlier this year, and I imagine that at some point this game would make the transition to the PlayStation 4, but now it's finally happening, and it's happening very soon. It's dropping May 21st. Now, if you don't know what Slay the Spire is, it's one of the most interesting games you're gonna come across. It's a marriage of a card game with a roguelike. It's something that I thought would have never worked, but it absolutely did, because it introduces a lot of unique mechanics to your traditional card game formula. I've played a lot of card games, whether it be physically or digital card games like Hearthstone. And fundamentally, they have a lot of similarities. However, when you throw the roguelike element into it, it adds a lot of nuances to your typical card game gameplay. You build your deck as you go through the dungeon, and there's a lot of decisions to be made. Do you actually add every card that you see? That's probably not the best idea, because as you're building your deck, you don't want it to be bogged down by lesser tier cards. And having this balance of picking the right cards, picking the right consumables, it adds a lot of engagement to the game and a lot of replayability, and to actually get the nuances down, that's going to take quite a while. I want to read you you guys the about page in the descriptions from the steam page coming from the developer quote we fuse card games and roguelikes together to make the best single player deck builder we could craft a unique deck encounter bizarre creatures discover relics of immense power and slay the spire key features of the game tell three core characters that each have their own unique set of cards with more planned 200 plus fully implemented cards 50 plus unique combat encounters there's a lot of challenging battles in the game 100 plus different items to be found procedurally generated levels tons of unlockables and the game also touts dynamic deck building, choose your cards wisely, discover hundreds of cards to add to your deck with each attempt at climbing the spire. Select cards that work together to efficiently dispatch foes and reach the top. An ever-changing spire whenever you embark on a journey up the spire the layout differs each time. Choose a risky or safe path, face different enemies choose different cards, discover different relics and even fight different bosses. And of course, you're gonna have powerful relics to discover. Powerful items known as relics can be found throughout the spire. The effects of these relics can greatly enhance your deck through powerful interaction, but beware, obtaining a relic may cost you more than just gold. So very excited to see Slay the Spire head to the PlayStation 4. Yes, it's priced at $24.99, which could be seen as a little steep to some people, but the game is absolutely worth that price point. It's a game that you can sink easily over 100 hours on, and to give you an idea of the reception of the game, the Metacritic score is a very impressive 89, and the Steam reception is also very strong at 96% positive reviews, and that's based on a sizable 24,696 user reviews as of recording this video. So you know you're getting something of quality here. If you're into card games, if you're into roguelikes, Slay the Spire offers something very compelling, something very unique, and I'm excited to see it make the transition to the PlayStation 4 on May 21st. So outside of that, that's not the only game that's been announced for the PlayStation 4. Some more interesting titles. The choice-based action-adventure title in hindsight 2020 has been announced for the PlayStation 4, and it's coming from BioWare, ArenaNet, and Sucker Punch Veterans. So those are some star-studded studios right there, and veterans from those studios, yeah, that has me excited. It's a single-player action game with morality-based decisions, and it's coming sometime in 2020. Here's the description of the game from its official website. Discover the power of your mortality. What if you had the opportunity to relive your past and fix your mistakes for a potentially different outcome? Many of us think about and struggle with this fundamental question. Hindsight 2020 allows you to fix your mistakes from past playthroughs and relive them for vastly different gameplay and story experiences. Each playthrough of the game provides handcrafted experiences and endings that are personalized and unique to your choices and your actions. For example, you belong to a town that values peace and harmony. Will you break the rules of this town and be ruthless in your actions for a potentially better cause, or will you respect the values of your town no matter what? The sheriff of this town killed your father. Will you murder him and violate the ethos of your people, or will you spare his life and allow him to grow more powerful? Questions with moral dilemmas like these are what this game presents to you. The decisions you make have real and meaningful consequences that allow you to discover the power of your morality. Okay, I am really captivated by the premise this game has going for it. We don't know a lot about it in terms of the exact gameplay. We just got a teaser trailer, but I'm also digging the presentation style. It's very unique in that regard. And while I said we don't know a ton about the game, they actually did put out a ton of information on their website. 
but since the game is due out next year i imagine that it will evolve over time but they do tout that you can choose between two unique gameplay styles you can be ruthless or merciful the ruthless route will have you use your sword to kill perform combos to hack and slash enemies opponents cautious fighting style reflects the life-threatening combat and acquire special abilities unique to being ruthless but you can also be merciful use your stun baton to put down enemies hit three non-consecutive targets to charge your baton for a one-hit takedown of the third target and opponents will react to your non-lethal weapon with more confidence and aggression you'll acquire special abilities unique to being merciful and you'll hit six non-consecutive targets to perform a spell of sentence choose your words and actions carefully they have lasting consequences later on townsfolk react differently based on your choices and actions your actions determine the fate of your town bosses will even be different based on what you do bosses react differently based on your choices and actions discover nuances in personalities of the same boss in different playthroughs bosses might choose to fight you very aggressively or fight to defend their honor or even ask for forgiveness depending on how you interact with them and others the game has two towns champagner and gibsonia are two towns where your actions are measured by different standards champagner is the home you are trying to save a peaceful place that believes in the sacredness of life and gibsonia is the town threatening your home the game will present to you a lot of moral dilemmas and very interesting storytelling again hindsight 2020 will be out sometime in 2020 so let's hope they can nail that release window is hindsight 2020 being released in 2020 that sounds like a match made in heaven obviously the title of hindsight 2020 goes with the premise of this game perfectly i'm excited for it and again it's coming from former bioware arena net and sucker punch veterans the studio working on the title is triple i game so i want to give them credit credit as well. On top of that, we have the 3D action adventure game into Marion that's been announced for the PlayStation 4. That'll be coming to PlayStation 4 this summer for $29.99, and a deluxe edition that also includes the soundtrack will be available for $39.99. This is coming from an independent developer in Chameleon Games. A third-person action-adventure game in Temerian is coming this summer. And it's set in beautiful Nordic scenery starring the world's cutest monkey. Pollution and destruction from ever-expanding insects sets the agile monkey into a fight for his family's survival. Scheduled for a release on PlayStation 4 this summer, Temerian channels the energy of 3D platformer classics and explorative Metroidvania shooters handcrafted by a team which includes an all-star cast of veterans from Rare's Golden Era. Explore an incredible interconnected 3D world brimming with platforming and bug splash flattering shooter action leap with the agility of a Temerian as you journey into the northern wilderness on scenic routes through forests and mounts. Along the way, you will chase mysterious electrical fireflies, discover a secret underground world of dancing ants, rescue innocent birds, and restore the Temerian's once idyllic natural habitat. The game itself is directed by Omar Sawi, who has brought on an all-star cast from Rare's Golden Era to help execute his vision of Temerian and recapture the style and magical experiences they were once famous for. Creators of iconic characters such as Diddy Khan, Banjo-Kazooie, and Battletoads are responsible for Temerian's concept art pre-production and character design. Donkey Kong 64 artist Richard Voucher leads the art production and provides energetic, responsive animations. Donkey Kong Country composer David Wise adds to the atmosphere with compositions of melodic beauty and a brand new style of catchy industrial beats. And this is complemented by impactful sound effects. The game visually looks very good and it's got a very charming presentation style. Excited for this one and it is coming at a budget price point of $29.99 and it will be dropping this summer, so another title to keep your eyes on it. And lastly, I do want to give a shout to the game Pixar as it's coming to the PlayStation 4 on May 31st. This is a game that's currently in early access on PC. It's had a relatively mixed reception, but now it's coming out of early access and into its full form on May 31st. The game Steam page touts, Welcome to Pixar, a vast wild world filled with vicious dinosaurs, magical creatures, and endless adventures. To survive this mysterious land, you must tame creatures both ferocious and cuddly, craft high-tech and magical tools, and build your own base out of cubes. With a robust character creator, an infinite number of voxel-based maps, and procedurally generated quests, your Pixar adventure will be completely unique. Team up with friends to form a tribe or play on your own. Spend your time building a tower fortress or go on a quest in a sprawling cavern fly on the back of a dragon and smite your enemies with a magic wand or ride a mighty t-rex and blast your foes with a rocket launcher in the world of pixar how you play is up to you as long as you survive the game touts over 100 creatures to tame train and ride voxel block building system procedurally generated maps procedurally generated quests creative mode where you can build anything you can imagine and extensive character creation tools of course being a part of arc it's gonna have a little bit of skepticism and the steam reception has been pretty mixed it's got a mixed reception at 62 of the 3,599 user reviews being positive, but let's see if the game can make some improvements as it comes out of early access on May 31st and as it drops on the PlayStation 4. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, I really wanted to highlight these four games that are surely to go a little bit under the radar. I'm sure a lot of people will be talking about Slay the Spire once that drops because that game is sure to be great on the PlayStation 4. That'll be coming May 21st. Hindsight 2020 looks awesome and a star-studded cast of developers working on it as well. That'll be coming 2020. Tamarian will be dropping this summer and that looks to be 
a very charming game, and then Pixar will be hitting the PlayStation 4 on May 31st. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.